Billy and Zack the Cat, a guided meditation for children. Hello, and welcome to this rest time at the end of your day. Wherever you are, let your eyes close shut. It is time to get ready for sleeping. You have had a busy day, and now is your chance to relax a little bit and just enjoy the feeling of being still. When you have a full day of playing and learning, it feels nice to just be cosy for a little while. The time you spend resting now will help you grow up big and strong and will give you lots of energy for tomorrow. So let your body soften and relax and enjoy the nice feelings your sleeping space gives you. This is resting time, but resting time does not have to be boring. Instead of just laying there, you can listen to this story, a story about a little boy named Billy and his friend Zack, a little black and white cat. Close your eyes and imagine that you're watching Billy and Zack, seeing what they see smelling what they smell, all the while safe and cosy in your bed. It is comfortable here, and you can listen to this story as you get more and more sleepy. Just listen to the music and the story. Once upon a time, there was a little boy named Billy. Billy liked to play outside, to read storybooks and draw pictures. One year, for Billy's birthday, his parents had given him Zack. Zack has soft black fur, but each of his feet are white. It looks like Zack is wearing little socks on his paws, but it is really just the colour of his fur. Billy and Zack are best friends, and they do everything together. Today was a busy day for Zack and Billy. They got up and ate breakfast, and then spent the day playing toys with some of Zack and Billy's friends. They ate lunch and helped make supper. Billy took a bath, but Zack did not. And now Billy is laying in bed with his cat, Zack. Zack is nestled up against Billy's chest, his soft little tail resting on Billy's arm. They are both tired from their busy day, and they are beginning to feel very sleepy. Billy takes a big breath all the way to the bottom of his belly. He sighs it out, feeling the way his stomach goes down like a balloon. It feels nice, so he takes another deep breath and sighs it out again. Billy knows that doing this helps him calm down before falling asleep. He can let his breathing be as fast or as slow as he wants. It feels natural, so easy he does not have to think about it in order for it to happen. You can breathe in slowly, like Billy, filling your belly up with the air and then letting it out. Give it a try. How does it make you feel? Outside it is cold, but in bed, Billy and Zack are nice and warm. It is nice here in the room. Billy and Zack are safe and cosy in bed, and so are you. 
Feel how your arms and legs are getting warmer and heavier. With every breath you take, you can feel your limbs getting more and more tired. You can imagine your feet getting heavy as if you were putting on a pair of thick winter boots. Your fingers are warm as they curl a little bit more into your hands. Let this heavy feeling stay with you, because the warmer and cosier you get, the closer you get to an exciting imaginary adventure. Billy and Zack want you to come along with them on this pretend adventure. You will be warm and safe, and nothing will happen to you because all of this is in your imagination. This is just a fun story, a nice way to end your very busy day. You can imagine Billy and Zack the cat standing nearby, maybe in your room, or maybe out in the hallway. They are so excited to see you. As your legs seem to sink further and further into your mattress, you can imagine yourself pretending to stand up and walk to your bedroom door, meeting them along the way. Even though what you are imagining seems real, you know that you are still in your bed in real life. Since you know that you won't really leave your bed, you can feel safe and cosy all night long. Besides, you know that something exciting is waiting for you. You and Zack and Billy are going on a fun trip. The three of you walk out of your house just for pretend and find yourself standing in a magical forest. The trees seem taller than you and Billy have ever seen, but you are not scared. It is sunny and warm and you are surrounded by amazing sights. You can see trees made out of candy with lollipops growing instead of leaves. A fairy lives in a house made of soap bubbles, and ahead of you, two kittens play with a ball of string. Zack runs off to join them, his whiskers twitching with enthusiasm. You and Billy know he will come right back. Right now is your time to explore the magical forest. What do you see? Are there any unicorns and friendly dragons or characters from your favourite movies and books? Let yourself walk through the forest, enjoying whatever you see.
soon you can see that the forest is leading you to a special bridge. A bridge made out of a magical tightrope, stretched between the forest and a magical land that lies beyond it. The tightrope extends through the sky, supported by fluffy white clouds. You and Billy and Zack the cat are safe. None of you can fall off the rope, and even if you did, it will be like landing on pillows in the clouds. You are safe, and so you take your first step out into the tightrope. It is easy for you, and soon you are skipping across the rope, through the clouds, and toward a carnival on the other side of the sky. When you arrive at the carnival, you are excited. There are rides everywhere, from roller coasters to race cars to a carousel with ponies. You can ride a giant Ferris wheel going around and around, up and down. If you want, you can play games at one of the hundred stalls, filled with prizes just waiting to be won. There are stuffed animals and candies and toys, balls and storybooks and stickers. Music plays all around you, and the air is full of the smells of your favourite foods. If you get hungry, you can pick out any snack and enjoy it. Lemonade. Ice cream, french fries, lollipops, hot dogs, anything you want, you can have. Billy and Zack the cat are beside you, ready to ride the rides, eat the snacks and play games. For just a few minutes, listen to the sounds around you and explore the carnival. You get to decide what to do. And now, you and Billy and Zack decide to go back to your house, to your cosy little bedroom, back under your warm blankets. You can finish playing whatever games you want, but soon you decide to start walking back. 
you skip through the adventure park, past the rides and parades and animals, back to the place where the tightrope leads through the clouds. You walk back across the tightrope, balancing so easily. You are strong and smart and so good at balance on the rope. The clouds all around you are soft and fluffy like cotton candy. You like this place and you can come back any time you want to. But just for now you keep walking all the way across the tightrope and back into the magical forest. You go past the animals and the birds, the trees made out of candy and the houses made out of bubbles. Soon you are back to the front door of your house. You can go inside, all the way back to your little bed. Imagine yourself crawling under the covers, the warm blankets so snugly and soft. Billy and Zack the cat wave goodbye and tell you that you will play again soon. But for right now, your only job is to snuggle a little deeper into your blankets, get a little bit more comfortable and just listen to the sounds and music of this meditation. You have done such a good job on this adventure and all that is left is for you to rest. Billy and Zack are so happy you are their friend. Sweet dreams and rest well. <laughs>